Hey guys, it is the 19th of February. My name's Jess McDonald and you're watching GameSpot News. Sony is known for having a pretty bad time in the profitable company stakes and now it seems they're going to try and rectify it. According to Reuters, Sony CEO Kaz Harai said that the company is preparing to ditch their efforts in the smartphone business since it's dominated by Apple and Samsung. That would be one big segment of their business gone, but Harai also indicated that stepping away from their once successful TV business is also not out of the question. The company will instead plan to focus on their camera sensors and PlayStation products, which it hopes will have a hypothetical operating profit of 4.2 by 2018. A new Rock Band game could be in development for new-gen consoles according to a report from Bloomberg. A source who claimed to be familiar with Harmonix's plans confirmed the news, but we've heard nothing official from the developer themselves. Harmonix just recently began launching new Rock Band DLC for the first time in two years, and has been talking about their plans to revive the Rock Band franchise for a good while. Harmonix will also have a booth at PAX East next month for the first time in two years, and is listed among this year's PAX East pins. Curiously though, their pin design only depicts a question mark, suggesting that an announcement could be on the way before the show. There are set to be at least three games playable at the PAX Harmonix booth, including A City Sleeps, their Samsung Gear VR project, and the kick-started Amplitude reboot for PS3 and PS4. Finally, today the PS4 is slated to be the new PS2 or Wii in terms of console sales success. Research firm Strategy Analytics have predicted that the PS4 will outsell the Xbox One by 40% by 2019. The details come from their Connected Home Devices report, which suggests Sony will sell 80 million units by 2019, while Microsoft will likely sit at 57 million. In its first year of release, 18.5 million PS4s were shipped, which is close to matching the 20.1 million figure that the PS2 console achieved. As for the Xbox One, it is estimated that only 12.4 million units were shipped in the first year, but that's still a better performance than the 10.4 million Xbox 360s that were shifted in that same period. The PS2 remains the best-selling console of all time, with more than 150 million consoles sold, while the Wii comes in second with over 100 million consoles making their way into living rooms worldwide. Let me know down in the comments if you're keen to play a brand new rock band. You can head to GameSpot where we've got stories on Tim Schafer defending Peter Molyneux and what's new in the upcoming Xbox One system update. That's all I have to tell you about today, but do remember that tomorrow I'll have my top five stories of the whole gaming week, so if you want to get caught up, that's the place to be.